An anterior cervical discectomy infusion or ACDF is one of the most common procedures that we perform in spine. An incision is made on the front part of the patient's neck and that allows us access to get to the spine and the offending disc. The offending disc is subsequently removed and a spacer with bone graft is placed in its place followed by a plate and screws that will help immobilize that part of the spine. This is a procedure that's typically done for patients with cervical degenerative disc disease or worn out disc in someone's neck that's causing neck pain and cervical radiculopathy or pain that radiates down the patient's arm. By removing the degenerative disc, we are able to remove any spurs or any compression on the nerves that is causing the patient's pain. Not only are these procedures super common, but they are really successful at alleviating neck and arm pain. In one to two level fusion, sometimes the patient can go home the same day of surgery. It's one of my favorite surgeries because patients do so well after it with minimal post-op pain. This is the size of a typical spacer that's placed in place of the disc that's removed and it's usually filled with bone graft. And here is the size of the plate that's placed overlying the bones to help stabilize the spine. In this case, this is a two-level plate that you would use for a two-level fusion. How many of you guys have had the surgery or know someone that's had a surgery like this? Leave any questions you have about this in the comment section and I'd love to talk about it.